Good day, grade 5. Welcome to our science class. I am teacher Joey, your virtual teacher for today. Today class, we will travel to another lesson in science. I know and I am sure that you are all excited for another fun-filled learning activities for today. So let us now begin. But wait class, before we start our discussion, try to find a nice and comfortable place inside your home where you can focus with your lesson. I want you to prepare yourself as well as your materials necessary for your study. Kindly bring out your pen and paper so that you could jot down some important notes needed for your learning. Always remember class that having knowledge is having a power. Today, we will learn about the changes in matter and its effects in the environment. The physical and chemical changes that materials undergo have important roles in our day-to-day -day activities. But unfortunately, not all changes that take place in matter are good. Some are harmful and even dangerous. So it's very important to study the changes that matter undergo and its effect on our environment. So in this lesson, you will be able to describe different changes brought by nature, human, and other living organisms. Enumerate practices in preventing changes that pose harm hazard in the environment and living organisms. This time we have a science trivia. Did you know that around 27,000 trees are cut down each day just to produce toilet paper? Could you imagine this? To refresh your minds about our topic last meeting, which about materials change when applying heat or lacking of oxygen, let's answer the following. All you have to do is to match the following materials with each product after the phase change occur. In column 1, we have wet iron nails, burned wood, photosynthesis in plants, leftover food of over a week, and then coconut juice. For our number 1, the change may happen in wet iron nails is rust. For number 2, the product of burned wood will be charcoal. Number 3, the outcome or the product of photosynthesis in plants is oxygen and for number four the leftover food over a week the change may happen is spoiling of food and then number five which is coconut juice the change may happen is vinegar this time take a look with this picture what can you observe Yes, exactly. This is a burning garbage. So people burning garbage everywhere. So what do you think? Is this harmful or good to our environment? Yes, it is harmful. Okay, let's move on to the next picture. What can you say about this? Exactly. The car emits black smoke. So it shows here that vehicles produces black smoke in the air and this is harmful to our environment. Next, let's now proceed to picture number 3. What can you observe? Yes, you're right. We can see here class that factory emitting smoke in the air. So what do you think? Of this activity is it good or harmful to our environment yes it's definitely harmful to our environment so let's now proceed to picture number four what can you see correct so this picture tell us that cutting of trees or what you call deforestation or it can be a practicing of illegal logging of trees in the forest so is it good or harmful to our environment exactly this is harmful to our environment so all of the pictures class that I have shown you have something to do with our discussion for today 
So remember class that not all changes that happen to matter are good because there are some changes that have negative impacts to human, environment, and other living organisms. Examples of this are pollution, deforestation, acid rain, and global warming. So let's discuss further more about this. First on the list is pollution. So what is pollution? It is when gases, smoke, and chemicals are introduced into the environment in large doses that makes it harmful for humans, animals, and plants. There are different types of pollution. We have the land pollution, the water pollution, and air pollution. All of these greatly contributed harmful effects to our nature. Just like for example is dumping of garbage to land has bad effects to the environment. If this happens, pets and other animals may live here and carry germs and bacteria which is dangerous to human health. So with this, the land will be polluted. Another example of pollution is that throwing of garbage in the river. Like for example, throwing of detergent into the river may cause water pollution because of the toxic and substances it has therefore polluted water can kill living organisms and plants and other sea creatures in the water another example of pollution is smoke from factories and vehicles that may cause air pollution this can damage crops and trees and it can also cause diseases like asthma lung cancer and many more due to the large number of vehicles today we are adding carbon dioxide to our atmosphere causing the planet temperature to rise which can lead and contribute to what you call global warming another change brought by human is deforestation deforestation is a permanent cutting of trees to make land for agriculture for construction and manufacturing. The cutting of trees may cause floods and affect the quality of air that we breathe. And it also damage the habitat of the animals in which if there's no trees around us, this will cause the temperature to change. With all of these changes of materials in the environment that causes pollution, the following may happen. So these are the effects of pollution. Number one is lack of fresh water supply in the community. Next one, flooding in low-lying areas. Number three, drought or lack of rainfall. Number four, shortage of food production by plants. Number five, outbreak of airborne diseases, skin cancer, and diarrhea. Number six, extinction of some species of plants and animals number seven unpleasant smell in the surroundings next number eight contamination of water with toxic substances and then the last one is soil erosion due to deforestation another change brought by human is what you called acid rain so what is acid rain is a man-made emission of gaseous chemical waste from vehicles, industrial and power generating plants that produce sulfur oxide and oxygen and nitrogen oxide. These waste become stronger when they combine with water in the atmosphere to produce acids like sulfuric acid and nitric acid. When it rains, rain becomes very acidic. It is called acid rain. But how do this acid rain form? So we have illustration here. So nagsimula ito sa mga smoke that comes from factories, vehicles, or yung nagsusunog ka ng mga basura nyo, especially yung mga plastic. So yung mga smoke na yon is what you call acidic gases that goes to the atmosphere which includes already a sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide, and carbon dioxide. So lahat ng tatlong gases na yan, 
yun yung sumasama sa atmosphere papuntang clouds at doon na makikreate at mag combine na sila with water droplets at magpo-form into acid rain. So that is the formation of what you called acid rain. Aside from that, acid rain is very dangerous to every living and non-living things. Acid rain harms trees and crops. It kills fish and aquatic plants in lakes and rivers. So this will cause respiratory diseases in humans who happen inhale it directly. So acid rain causes the decay of concrete structures. It causes the emission of materials made of metals. It destroys many historical spots and structures all over the world. Another change brought by human is what you call global warming. So what is this global warming all about? So it refers to the overall increase in the average temperature of Earth's atmosphere. It happens when the amount of gases such as methane and carbon dioxide rises in the atmosphere. So how this happened? So I have here an illustration. So we have the earth here and the sun. The earth continuously receiving light and heat energy that comes from the sun. Ang earth ay may tatlong protection or pang shield. The earth surface, ozone layer, and the atmosphere. Kung saan silang tatlo, ang pumoprotekta sa Earth sa tatlong uri ng rays of the sun. These are the visible ray, the infrared ray, and the ultraviolet ray. So itong tatlong rays na ito ay nagtatravel sa ating atmosphere before going to the Earth's surface. So the question now is, how do these rays travel to the Earth's surface? So these two rays of the sun which is the visible ray and infrared ray ay magsamang mag-travel going to the atmosphere before reaching the Earth's surface. But because of the help of the ozone layer, hindi niya masyadong pinapatuloy pumasok sa Earth's surface. In other words, binablock niya yung ibang rays. So, nasan naman ngayon si UV rays or yung ultraviolet rays? So, at si UV rays naman, some amount of the UV rays block from entering the Earth's surface. In other words, bumabalik siya sa atmosphere. Ibig sabihin dito, si visible ray at saka si infrared ray ang nakakapasok lang sa Earth's surface. Pero itong si infrared rays ay bumabalik sa atmosphere. But because of some gases in the atmosphere traps the heat radiation, then it goes to the Earth's surface, which will lead to the heating of the environment. So yun na yung nararamdaman nating init, yung warm that come from the sun. So in other words, the exchange of incoming of radiation that warms the earth's surface is what you called greenhouse effect and the gases involved of this is what you called greenhouse gases that includes carbon dioxide methane water vapor and chlorofluorocarbons the greenhouse effect is essential in order to keep our planet warm but too much is bad when there is excess of heat, it will burn. As time passes by, human activity have changed the earth atmosphere. The amount of greenhouse gases is increased and as time passes by, it is increasing. They trap too much heat and this excess of greenhouse effect result to global warming. Global warming is increase in the average temperature of the Earth's surface. Let's have an activity. Our activity one is pollute the water. The objective is enumerate practices in preventing changes that cause harm hazard in water. The first thing to do is to get a clear glass. Number two, put some water in the glass. Number three, 
Wet the paint brush. Number four, brush the black watercolor. Number five, put the brush in the glass with water. And then number six, observe what happens. And then we have a questions here. Number one is, what happened to the water after you put the brush inside? Number two, did the color of the water change? Number three, when a person throws dirt in the bodies of water, what do you think will happen? And then we have activity two, pollute the air. Then enumerate practices in preventing changes that cause harm hazard in air. So observe the picture and then answer the following questions. Number one, what is found along the road? Number two, what do you see around the garbage? Number three, what do you think is the smell of air when you pass by in the place? Why? And then what will happen to the air? Next is activity number three, which is deforestation. Object is disenumerate practices in preventing changes that cause harm hazard in land. So observe the picture. The first question is, what happened to the trees in the forest? Number two, aside from the trees, what other living things live in the forest? Number three, what will happen to the animals if trees are cut? Number four, you have learned that the roots of the trees hold the soil when it rains. What do you think will happen when the roots are cut and it rains very hard? So we have ways to control environmental changes. The first one is to try to walk or use bicycle instead of a car. Number two, use compact fluorescent or LED instead of light bulb. Number three, use renewable source of energy. Number four, buy organic food, not frozen food. Number five, decompose kitchen waste. So remember this class that the change or disturbance in the environment caused by human influences or natural ecological process is called environmental changes. Certain changes of materials in the environmental might have a good or bad effect. Composting, recycling, technological development, water cycle, and photosynthesis are changes that have good effects. While pollution, improper disposal of garbage, using harmful chemicals, and human waste have bad effect in the environment. So no matter how small or big your contribution is, what matter is you give a difference to make our environment a better place to live. So to end this lesson, let's have a test. All you have to do is to read each item carefully. Write B if the change of material in the activity is beneficial and write H if the change is harmful.